Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So lately in my vlogs, I've been talking about habit stacking and being more productive. So I want to first show you guys what my routine looks like. That way you can get an idea. And at the end of this video, we'll talk about habit stacking, how I use it and why it's my number one tip for being productive. So I hope you guys enjoy and we'll meet back later. So it's the end of the day now, but something else that I have found to be so helpful and so productive is I started cooking dinner early. I love cooking dinner. It's one of my favorite times in the day. It's like the best lighting, it's sunset. I see the light coming into my kitchen and I just get in the zone cooking. But when it's like that chaos and you know, Jared gets home from work, he's hungry. The dogs seem to be walked and fed. Violet's hungry. It just the experience of cooking isn't fun for me and I really think you need to have these moments in your day that you really look forward to. So anyway, I'm gonna show you guys last night's dinner. It's not aesthetically pleasing, but it was one of the best dinners we had in a while. So I found this recipe on Pinterest. It's lemon ricotta pasta with arugula. Anytime I'm making pasta, I love to add veggies because it's a great way to sneak them in there. And sauteed veggies are so good and they're great for your gut health because they're warm and you can digest them. So everything is cooked. So the only thing I changed was my husband wanted protein with his, so we made some garlic chicken, but I just had it regular. And this is something I'm gonna do more often. It asks you to have a cup of the water from the pasta to make the sauce, and the sauce came out so creamy. Again, the recipe will be down below, but here I am making the arugula, ricotta, lemon, cheesy sauce to go on top, and everything just blended together. If you're feeling like that fresh lemon pasta taste, you will love this. Then you top it with olive oil and red chili flakes. I mean, this is how it goes. I set up everything to film, I get ready, and then my dogs come and like sit in my film spot. Like, where am I supposed to go? Like, hey guys, I'm just falling off the bed. And you're gonna sit here. It's so funny because so many people have asked me to add more dog content. Like, you guys said you missed my dogs. They're always in the videos. It's just sometimes I film from like, here up i'm vlogging so i'm up here but my dogs are always by my side even when i'm doing like my hot girl walks and i'm insta storing me and my daughter they are there i just think since it's back to school time tomorrow my daughter's activities start back up she's not in school yet but it's just like that back to school time you just feel the energy like it's so empty around us like usually where i see kids playing it's just like empty so there's just something about the fall time that gets you to want to be productive and I also think not only is it that, but it's also the fact that there's only a couple more months to this year. So that being said, I like to make videos about things that I'm doing in my daily life. So I started doing habit stacking again, and it's a way to increase productivity. It's really maximizing your hours in a day Habit stacking is the way to go and it's like the best kept secret. If you read the book Atomic Habits and that's where you probably heard it because that's where I first heard it. So I read the book Atomic Habits. I think you guys should as well. It's a great fall read for sure. But like with anything, we fall into habits, we get into bad habits, like all that. And I feel like this summer we really were sleeping in and just kind of being more like relaxed. And not that any of that is a bad thing. If you're going through that, none of that is bad. But if you're like, okay, I'm ready to step it up, back to school time, back to fall, and I wanna end this year really strong, 
this video is for you and we're going to talk about why you need to start habit stacking. First thing is, what is it? What is habit stacking? So essentially it's a rule that you're going to create for yourself. So you take one habit that you do every single day and then that habit then triggers another habit that you do immediately after. He gives the example about meditation. So you want to start being somebody that meditates every day and you want to start doing it in the morning. Okay, so what's a habit? What's something you do every single morning? And he gave the example, you drink coffee in the morning. So after you drink your coffee, then you meditate. So coffee now starts to associate you with that next habit, the next thing you do. So for me, I'm actually in a bad habit and this is what we're going to replace. So I have my morning cup of coffee, then triggers the next habit, which is not a good one for me. And that is scrolling through my phone, answering DMs, answering comments and not that those things are bad but first thing in the morning i need to take care of myself and i need to get myself right for the day and during work hours is when i want to check dms and comments and all of that so i decided to stack my morning cup of coffee with something else and that is sitting on my balcony and just enjoying the silence when you're a mom you don't really get a lot of silence so even something like that is nice even when i'm driving in the car by myself I will sometimes not even listen to music because I'm like, wait, I can hear myself. I'm like driving, I'm like, I can hear myself think. Like even just thinking is nice. Have a second could also be a way to replace some of the things you no longer want to do anymore. So if it's scrolling through your phone or if when you get home from work, the next habit you do is eat a bag of chips. And so then that reminds you when you get home from work, it reminds you about the bag of chips and then that's why you're not hitting your weight loss goal. It starts to really get you to think about your habits and think about why you do some of the things you do. Like I remember for the longest time, if I turned on the TV, it triggered me to go grab a snack. It was like, oh, I watch TV and I eat a snack. These are things I do together. So the better habit could be you turn on the TV and you make a cup of tea or something, or you make a cup of tea and then you turn on the TV. Like you can replace some of the things you no longer want to do anymore. And he says that this is very neurological. This is a part of our brain that these things trigger, especially if you've been doing them for so long. Like when I would get home from school, when I was in middle school or high school, I would turn on the TV and eat a snack. You do something for years repetitively. One really good habit that me and my husband both got into after reading this book are habits where we would work out in the morning and then we'd make a protein shake. And I stacked it with another habit on top of that, which was then immediately clean the blender. And now until this day, every time I make a smoothie, clean out the blender. Or I do my makeup in the morning, I put my makeup away every single time. So that's really what habit stacking is. And then my first tip is to make a list. And I think the book says to do this in a notebook, make a list of all of the habits you do. And then I put like a little arrow feet and then there's an arrow. I scroll on my phone. So instead you have to replace that with something else. So you have coffee and then I put sit on the balcony and either listen to a book or listen to nothing. Other things I have on here are when I make Violet breakfast, I want that to then trigger the habit of me filling up my water bottle. So this one right here, oh, my pen just fell, but fill this up and start drinking, like make improvement because I noticed that like by the time she's finished with breakfast and our babysitter gets here i'm like dehydrated i feel like i'm just not even it, anybody with toddlers know the mornings can be i'm just like juggling it all and then i forgot to drink water so i have a motivational water bottle so it tells you like how much is in the water but it also has like the motivation side like by 8 a.m drink this Another one that I struggle with is when I make my to-do list, it then gets me to be all scatterbrained. I make my to-do list and then I start like, oh right, I have to order groceries. Let me start ordering groceries. And then I go back to the list and then I didn't even finish the groceries. So it's like, I just kind of go back and forth. So I want to make my solid list and then go in order of what needs to be done. Like actually sit and cross off each one. And then my last one is put on workout clothes and go straight on a 15 minute walk or do 15 minutes of weights or something. When I don't have Pilates, I only do 15 minute workouts. 15 minutes just seems so doable. If I end up doing longer, great. If I end up doing like a little shorter and only do 10 minutes, then okay, great too. But I'm all about, you just have to move your body every single day. And so when you put on your workout clothes, then you could either like start cleaning and making your bed and doing all that. 
and then never get your workout in or you put on your workout clothes get out there get straight into the workout so that's the habit that i want to get into workout clothes go do a workout that's really what habit stacking is you can really think of it as what is something that you're already doing and that you could just stack another habit on top so if you already wake up and meditate what's something you could do afterwards if you already wake up and have a glass of water what can you do afterwards and i also feel like it's a great way to build a routine and especially since we're still in august like it's still technically summer and it's just nice to like nice to start to get in the habit of being more productive for fall before fall starts. If you're new to my channel, I make new videos every Wednesday and I live for these like more cozy, productive videos for the fall time. Like I live for that. So if you like this kind of content, this is the time of year that I really film it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Let me know down below what are some of the habits that you're going to be doing and adding on to your existing ones. Have an awesome day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.